guess. I mean, the heating in an MX-5 is more than good enough to drive around top. Well, yeah, because it does, doesn't have anywhere to go. It just comes right <laughs> off the engine. <laughs> there, there's no actual space, and there's a pretty good heater, so yeah. <laughs> the heater is just one 120 mil Noctua. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> anyway. Tell us about uh, you, my Chris. My name is Chris Rees. I run the Raid Group Blitz on Final Fantasy XIV. I do variety streaming, uh, currently working on Western RPGs. Uh, after a stream, my next project will be the Dragon Age series. Ooh, I've thought about diving into those. It's just one of those, like, I know I have to set aside a whole thing, and we've yeah. seen the Yakuza burnout. So it turns out I was talking to my sister and saying, oh, I finally finished Might and Magic. And she's like, oh, do you need something else to play? And I went, yeah, sure. She's like, uh, you never actually played through Dragon Age. You just watched me play, right? Ugh. You hate oh, it God, when the siblings are right. You hate it when they're right and they're also over eight years your junior. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Welcome to every single time I hang out with any of you. You I will fold you like a lawn cheater. chair. Shut the fuck up. Keo is, but I'm not. I am definitely not. You can f fucking suck eggs. <clears throat> you ate all the quail eggs. There's none left for me. Oh, don't worry. There will be more. I just need time. And laxatives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so welcome in. Uh, Oni, because you are basically the designated MC of this, and uh, I mean monster cock, not master of ceremonies, uh, who is going to be taking over Nampon's roles? Let me brain to remember what they were. Uh, well, we're not, in, we're not in a trial right now, anyway, so... SC or to the trial first. <laughs> All right. Also, Did you know? I, think I took up half of last week's lines with um, Suzato, so if one of the other folks wants to pick her up for a bit, that's fine by me. I have an interesting bit of tidbit because it blows my mind because it's an oddity for sure. In the first six seasons of the original Iron Chef in Japan, how many episodes were there? 54? No. I, I feel like this is a thing that Shai would know because she watches a lot of Iron Chef. Like in total or per season? Or? In total. For the first six seasons. Ten. Just looking at Shai. <laughs> Waiting for her wisdom. Six. Six seasons. Episodes. Six episodes, six seasons. How about 258? Jesus, fuck! Mm hmm. 258. Season, season one was 10. That was like the pilot shot. And then they turned it into like a year long cooking. Like, so the original format was it was actually like a freaking, it was an actual tournament type style. And it was head-to-head, -head, like, qualifiers um, that culminated in, like, the top two winners at the at the end of the season. But, yeah, it was 50 episodes for season two and three, 51 for season four. Uh, paltry effort in season five with uh, 48 and then 49 in season six. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. I tuned out like three minutes ago. What? Yeah, I know. You're not a good listener. Don't sure, worry, disagree Chris, with you. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. <laughs> which one of you was doing um, Susato again? I, I had Susato last time, but I was willing to pass it up this time. Well, raise your hand now before I say whatever. <laughs> I'm letting Sharky keep Susato. <laughs> I'm good with whatever. I am going to try something here. 
I have some extra room, you You know, I think this is a great idea. I really thought that was going to get a stronger reaction out of Kios than it did. No, I'm I'm busy doing something. Oh, okay. This isn't going to work the way I want it to. At least I don't think. I was going to split the audio for this so I could control things separately, but I don't think it's actually going to validate the way I need it to. All right, so do we know who's who? It's Shalms. Okay. I was running Shalms last week. I can continue with that if you would like. Sure. Or if somebody else wants it. No, go ahead. Okay, there we go. Everyone is balanced. Mr. Shalms, what are you up to over there? What a question indeed. Was it not your good self who asked me then to, to attend the scene? You literally told us you wouldn't, like, <laughs> as we left. <laughs> what are you doing here, Sholmes? What are you up to over there? What are you doing here? Dear me, what's a great detective? One is always under scrutiny, it seems. You know the time, Mr. Shulms? Are you about to show us the forensic talents in action as you promised? God, I hope not. With the greatest of pleasure, my dear madame. Tell me why. Um, what's all this about? The goggles, they do nothing. All this is precisely what you requested, Mr. Naruhoto. Herlock Sholmes' sensational skin print seeker gun. Who let this man have a firearm? <laughs> Moments ago, I took a sample from the teacup that was used by the victim. The sample? From Mr. Shamspear's cup? Each individual leaves microscopic secretions on everything he or she touches. Yo, take care, Lumi. A sample of those secretions is all I need to produce this. A refined indicator solution. By liberally spraying the room with this chemical. Please, please don't. <laughs> everything the victim touched is instantly revealed with the aid of these goggles. Here, try them on. Absolutely not. I'm not touching those. <laughs> Now, spray the chemical indicator about, and all will be revealed. I don't want to look. It's Sham Spear's room. It's going to look like a Jackson Pollock. We all know it. Listen, I'm old enough to remember Room Raiders. I know where this is going, and I'm, I want gloves. At least gloves. Oh god, I was not expecting to be age checked like that. No! Oh, ho, ho, ho! S -s Spray? How do I do that exactly? A little press of space of the space bar on your on the area you're interested in is all that's required. Like this. Oh no. Ah, what what is that stuff? It's like fog. A suspension of the chemical indicator indicator in a pressurized gas. It's the most efficient way to cover a large area. I hate every bit of this. That was another invention I had discovered incidentally whilst I was developing this idea. Soap. It indicates soap. 
As you do. Go ahead. Try it, my dear fellow. You're asking me to just spray about the room. Got it. We may learn something interesting about the victim's movements on the night in question. Oh, well, there's nothing to lose, I suppose. Let's explore. Hooray. <laughs> Great. Oh. Wait. Oh, look, there's dozens of handprints here. You must really like so that. There, well, there are a great many indeed. So much so that it's hard to make out any one individual print, in fact. Why are they set to the outside and on top? Because that's the one space where there's space next to the wall. <laughs> So, so when you lean forward to brace yourself against the wall, it's so that your partner can... Nope. nope. So your partner can cap calm. <sighs> sends a chill down my spine. Does it send a chill down your spine? Come on, other humans. Perhaps he was leaning against the wall while he admired this photograph every time I look it makes me laugh likely I would say it's a rather dull scene after all without wishing to state the obvious the one you generally admire a picture from some such those quarters Oh, yeah, very true, Miss Susato. It's a bit of a mystery, then. Oh. I'm purposely avoiding the floor. <laughs> Oh, look at this here! Ah, yes, interesting. A multitude of the victim's handprints. Hey, I have a question. Yeah? Where are any of the footprints? All just handprints. Well, this is, you know. He's one of those people that doesn't take his shoes off. <laughs> Or does he just walk on his hand? I he do not know. To do that. Have, you, have you ever seen Shamspear's feet? Do you know they exist? Did you pay the forty-seven dollars? Maybe his feet are just hands. Now that we discuss that Lovecraftian horror, why are there so many of them on the floor in this one spot? Oh, perhaps he had a bad fall. Just here. He fell over and got stuck. Something obvious to trip over. I think that's something only a great detective would do, Mr. Sholmes. Well, this is quite a puzzle. Handprints all over the floor. Maybe they have something to do with the handprints all over the wall. Yeah, there's no obvious explanation. Mm-hmm. Well, we sprayed Mr. Sholm's amazing skin print indicator all over this room, didn't we? We did. But there are two places in particular that of interest, I would say. 
The handprint's on the floor, and the handprint's on the wall there. By the picture, you mean. Yes, and I think the floor warrants closer investigation. I won't be, but a moment. Please wear gloves. <laughs> Ah, what is it, Miss Susato? Look here, Ryonosuke kun. One of the floorboards has popped out. Is it full of soap? One of the. You mean. It's a secret hiding place? Wow! Excellent work, Miss Susato. So, what do we have in here? What you lot doing? Sorry, I'm commuted. Inspector Gregson! Stand aside right this minute. It's my job to investigate there. As someone who has male plumbing, this is terrifying. <laughs> That sound effect is also quite unsettling. <laughs> nah, he's... He is absolutely trying to monch. Fish and chips. chips well we well we well most we dig around under the floor here your fancy talk put me off my food anyway show a new bit of evidence is exactly what I need Wow, a secret hiding place under the floor. What a find! Not a hiding place you could make use of in Japan. I don't think I could lift a straw to tell me that. They're made of straw, Susato. What do you mean? And you regularly deadlift Ryanosuke. It's really more of a clean and jerk, but thank you. I... Anyway. No, I know. But I never expected one of those wooden floorboards to move either. It's got me wondering about the wall over there, too. Aren't you curious? Yeah, the one that's got exposed brick three inches underneath it? Sure. Go ahead. I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch the wall. Okay. I'm gonna punch the shit out of the wall. Let's go. Ellipses. There's nothing behind the picture, sadly. I have now bruised my knuckles. Hmm. How disappointing. But then, how do you explain the handprints? I really can't think of why anyone would have been touching the wall over and over in one place like that. Obsessive compulsive disorder? There you are. Prince for you. Who gave this man a camera? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. His invention can make prints too? Now then. I wonder if Inspector Gregson has found anything under the floor there. I'm desperate to know. So am I. Wait, did you two read my mind? Yes. I mean, we've known Iris has telepathy for a while now, so I'm not shocked.
I'd love to know if there's anything hidden underneath that floorboard there. Allow me to ask Gregson now. After all, we're well acquainted. Inspector <laughs> <laughs> Gregson, really, it's been too long. I thought perhaps you might show me what you found there. Seeing as we're such good friends. No, I suppose not. <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> A dismal failure. Cheery is about it, though. Yeah, I heard. Ugh, I'd kill to know what was under that floorboard. Would you? Would you, Ryanosuke? Because... I think you could take Gregzy. Oh, man. Yeah, I just uh, gotta slip a bite guard. <laughs> crossover that must never happen. Uh, Sholmes must never cross the time streams and meet Hildebrand. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? Are you famous fan? What? <laughs> you did discover the hiding place after all. <laughs> I suppose I should at least fill you in. Really, Inspector? Thanks. Do it quickly, my dear fellow. If there's one thing I know about this man, it's that he blows with the wind, as fickle as the weather. He, excuse me? <laughs> Stop making me out to be some kind of nutter! Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. There were three items under the floor there. A newsplate paper clipping, a photographic print, and a tin box. Now, what do you want to know? Tell me why he f Newspaper clipping. Looks like this was cut out of the paper about three months ago. It's about a convict who got sick and died while he wait who was serving his time up in Manchester. How terrible. Lee odd. Made the headlines down here in London as well. Why? Bloke had been sentenced to death, you see. But nature got him first. Oh my goodness. He committed a capital offense? Man by the name of Selden. Nasty piece of work. Into burglaries and murder. They say the... Uh, they say the hoard he knocked off was worth about a thousand pounds. Okay. A hoard? A treasure, you mean? Something you're doing? Jewelry <laughs> and the like, but he'd hidden it somewhere, and no one knows where, and now he's dead. Scroll. Papers loved it, of course. A thousand pounds lost on route to hell. Some such was the headline. Does it not strike you, though? Why such an article would be so carefully ensconced under the floor? I suppose, now you mention it, it does seem a bit odd. Perhaps I'll go over the paperwork what we've got on Selden back at the yard and see if I can turn anything up. So, this is the photograph I found. Looks reasonably recent to me. Yeah, it would appear to have been taken on the street in front of the house here. Tell it, Yeah. 
And the gentleman on the left is Mr. Garadeb, the landlord, of course. That was Suzato. Oh, was it? I'm like losing my mind. Yep. <laughs> but who's the young man on the right? Mr. Garadeb's son, perhaps? Oops. You can take that print if you like. Really? Are you sure? We can presume, therefore, that the yarn already knows. The identity of the young fellow, that is. Ah! Is that true? Well, it's too bad if we do. Unfortunately for you lot, leaking information isn't one of my pastimes. I am good at it, though. <laughs> my dear inspector, if I may be so bold as to point something out. Pastimes are for one's leisure, but this is for work. Bugger off, home, Jones. The more reason I'm not telling you. A dismal failure. Yeah, I heard. Again. I wonder, why a photograph like this was hidden under the floor? I mean, Mr. Shamspear himself isn't in it. Photographic prints are still rare treasures in the East End. I imagine Mr. Carradine was rather delighted to have been immortalized. He probably made a proud present of it. It's in the box! I... Now this tin box looks interesting, doesn't it? It's a head. Is it a dick in a box? Oh, it could be. I suggest, Inspector, that you open it. It could be a detachable penis, too. Hmm, true. If you were to find something inside that reveals the truth of behind this case, I wouldn't be in the least surprised. Yeah, funnily enough, I are... I've already had a look. It's completely empty. What? Shamspear, give us a clue, man! You Shark. You have a chance to utter a word for your most We found out what's inside the box. Yeah, thin air. It's empty. Rather like how I feel inside. Is there nothing more to this box then? I wonder. <laughs> Wagahai? <coughs> hey! It's the cutie. The it's the real winner of the real winner. It's Mr. Natsume's, isn't it? I don't think we ever asked him, actually. Why don't we call it, um, Wagahai? You know, like Mr. Natsume refers to himself in Japanese. I wonder how he got in here. Clever cat. Nah, nah, it was a different cat that killed Cosmo. 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 <laughs> Cosmo. Uh, don't mind me, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> oh, wonderful strokes. Well, then, Wagahai, there's something delicious I've got for you from the cat's food. The excuse me? The, the cat's who now? Yeah, the cat's meat man. Well, at least the cat's happy. Yeah, true. That's all that really matters. Achievement unlocked. He couldn't be happier now. Look. I just hope we can bring some happiness to his owner, too. Only pain. Hey, yo, he making muffins? Oh. I saw biscuits. 
I will inspect the cat. You should ask first. I did not approve this. Hmm. <laughs> that was a cheeky little meow, Wagahai. Could you, though? I think he may not appreciate that after a while. And we do have an investigation to get back to. Freaking killjoy. Fuck investigation. There is cat. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pet the cat? The answer is yes. Do we, uh... There was an area over at the, uh, at the far right of the screen that didn't have oh, a Oh, whoops. There's not much on these shelves, is there? Just this wine glass and a bottle. Both of them are cracked, just like we said. Yeah. Not much use, are they? What's the matter? Oh, I was just reminded of the reefer, that's all. Prosecutor Lord Van Zeeks? Yes, he's so reckless with his chussies. I was thinking it's a waste, and we should donate some to the needy. You can suggest it next time we meet. I love, I love Susato's plan of wine glasses for the needy. <laughs> Yep. I think we're probably done here. I feel like... Poke him. No, he ain't got... He ain't got shit. Go. What's up? There's more places to go, probably, because I think we're done here. Yeah. Like the Garadebs. Maybe ask about the picture. Would be a good idea, I think. Uh huh. Yeah, we still have like the hospital to go to and stuff. Stuff, I believe, as well. Twenty second February, Mr. Garadeb's room. <clears throat> Mr. Garadeb appears to be out. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose we we'll just have to come back again later. Ha <laughs> ha. Oops. Nothing particular of note. How did we get into his house? <laughs> That's a little casual B and E. Man, my man's been punished over there. Yeah, On dog. On the second February, local prison cell nine. Mr. Natsume is back. Hooray. So he is. Mr. Natsume, hello! I am a cat. Ah, <sighs> okay then. All right, well, it was good talking to you, Mr. Natsume. See ya. I don't know who Mr. Natsume is, or her luck, Sholmes. I don't know about courts or trials or old bailies. It's a raid! Yo, thanks for the raid, Emmy. How are you? I am a cat. That's what I am. Just a cat. How was your stream? He's trying to escape from reality. Trying to? He already has. Completely. So, um... What's your name, then? As yet, I have no name. Ryanosuke-kun, he hasn't fully thought of his new identity yet. Maybe it's not too late to bring him back to reality. Do you think you could open your eyes for us, Mr. Natsume? 
Yeah, we on that doom train? Hey, oh, the old one or the new one? I am not a cat. Mood, bro. Mood. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I hope you are as well. What's going to become of me? No! I, I think he was better off as a cat. Don't answer that! It's obvious! Yeah, Doom Eternal is uh, real good. I I enjoyed it as a follow-up. My accursed soul is never going to escape this accursed fate! Yes. Yes. Locum student Mr. Narahodo Esquire was brilliant, but. But. The Reaper is omnipresent in court in my lodgings! Yeah, I found it. Uh. The gameplay style is definitely. It requires you to be a little bit more aggressive and internal. In Tony Hawk's underwear? That was clever. What's he looking straight at me for? Is he trying to kiss? You trying to fuck? <laughs> I <laughs> I think perhaps there are some things we should discuss. Yeah, sure. Damn, you backed off that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dog, I literally heard you deflate. <laughs> In my whole life, have I ever been so, so moved as I was today? No! Like, my bowels? Yes, it was very... I still haven't pooed! You do have to poop, or you will explode. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if I cast my mind back, there were perhaps one or two other occasions that moved me more. But if I just block those out, then today, being that coral was... was... It was the most moving experience of my life! Locum student, Mr. Naruhono Esquire! You're... too kind? Next week, I'm going to strap all of our contestants directly to their microphones. You can't make me. I've literally had to adjust everyone's volume levels three times this week already. <laughs> I do not suck toes for free. I will do my best, Korean nose cake. Wait, wait. Oh, you skipped my line. Yes, we did. I was adjusting the volume levels. <laughs> oh. It's all good. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Why? There's nothing wrong with that tea. They won't find a drop of poison in it. That's a solemn sworn Soseki certainty. Tell me, did you both drink the tea at the same time that night? Oh, yes. Most definitely. Remember, drink tea while it's hot. We both poured it down our throats like it was a hot bath for our bellies. Speaking of, Alexa, turn on tea kettle. 212. It 
job, Alexa. And at the time, you were both completely neurotic. As shown by the fact that he and Mr. Shamspear then engaged in a Romeo and Juliet themed nude wrestling match? Was it oh. nude? They were cosplaying. How about you, Capulet? Cosplaying as nudists? I suppose the focus of tomorrow's proceedings will be how the poison was taken by the victim, then? Yeah, my my kettle's Bluetooth. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> the rotten sham spear. What have I ever done to him? You don't recall him taking issue with you over anything you've done recently? I've been holed up in my room, immersed in books. I don't recall anything. Anything at all. Right. But what I don't understand is why he didn't let me know sooner. Instead of a pommel guard, it was a pommel horse. You know what a pommel horse is? You're a pommel horse. I am definitely not a pommel horse. Obviously, I do. Do you know what a pommel horse is, Lon? Obviously. <laughs> All right, explain it to the chat. Oh, never mind. I know what it is. You don't have to do that. Yeah? All right, Oni, tell the chat what it is. No, I'm good. You're not getting me with that one, dude, sir. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's literally a piece of gymnastic equipment. Yes, it is. It, it may be used for other things on occasion, but it's a, a gymnast's apparatus. It's a, um, a beam set across, like, two stands. Basically, with yeah. With handholds on it, and... The idea is that you do um, gymnastic acrobatic moves using the two handholds and the body of the beam. You're a beam. Story. Yeah. You're a beam with two handholds. Okay, so Oni's never seen. Oops. Oni's never seen a pommel horse chat. No, I have. I was kidding. All right. I don't believe you. Press X to doubt. <laughs> X, go and give it to you. Go About the you. soap, of course. What else? Oh, dear. Are you struggling with such a meager stipend? Of course I am. If I had money... I wouldn't have chosen to live in an accursed existence in this such a accursed lodging. I require a meager accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You said it's because the place is cursed. That's that it's so cheap, didn't you? Exactly. Especially the room that I rent. The spirit of that capital offender who lived there still haunts the place. And it's trying to kill me! Ghosts? We're going with ghosts now. Capital Offender? Might I ask, locum student Mr. Narahodo Esquire, that the next time you visit me... Yeah? You bring scores of super soft soaps. Weird. Hmm. He is mentioning the capital offender. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's see if he knows anything. What's this? It's a newspaper cutting that we found in Mr. Shamspear's room. Mm -hmm. Ah, so he knew, did he? I'm sorry? About this man, Selden. Can't wait to find out his last name's a horrific pun. <laughs> Probably is. Selden D's nuts? A convicted killer and the evil spirit behind the curse that afflicts my lodgings. Nani? He's already taking one young man's life, and now he's trying to take the life of another. A miserable mustache, much mel. Japanese man. Much maligned Japanese man. Yes, that word. <laughs> Mr. Natsume, if you know something, please. You must tell us. Ooh, Nuzzles, you're so warm. <laughs> Thanks, Shu. <you. laughs> just gonna, just gonna... Mr. Natsume, ooh, ooh. Nah, she got the redeem that was, uh, ooh, ooh, nuzzles, you're so warm. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Tell us everything you can about this evil spirit, ooh, ooh. Tell us everything you can about this evil spirit, Mr. Natsume, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Must I speak like that? I don't think No, I please no. <laughs> no, it's on cooldown for another 57 minutes. The truth is, I didn't know the details myself until very recently. That Selden man was arrested about a year ago now. And at the time, he was hiding out in lodgings at Mr. Garadeb's house. Ooh. What? Wait, he lived where you do now? That's right. Yes. Exactly where I live now, in my very room. Oh, I thought you were talking about in, in this prison cell, because every time we visit you, it's here and not at your house. Oh, right. This isn't my room anymore. <laughs> oh my, your room was previously occupied by a criminal found guilty of a capital offense? But before his sentence could be carried out, he died in prison. That was three months ago now. And that's when it started. The... the c c c curse What really is this curse you keep mentioning, Mr. Natsume? I keep hearing, return the slab. Hey! <laughs> Yo, for real, cats is a real one, though. Yeah. You're saying it's a jellical curse. A man died in the room. The man who rented it after Selden, in fact. A poor lodger. He... He was... Found dead in mysterious circumstances. The room was locked from the inside. Locked from the inside? Exactly like the case we're dealing with now? Like every single case we've fucking done from the start? <laughs> oh! Sorry. So, that's the convict's curse, is it? Yes, well, that was the start of it. Convict's curse. You 
have any idea how the lodger before you passed away, Mr. Natsume. The official cause of death was asphyxia. You're telling me someone strangled this guy? full of gas okay that's that's not kind of hot <laughs> gas like shit i only found out that after i'd signed the lease when mr garadab came to tell me later i couldn't stop myself trembling in fact, if I'd known beforehand, I'd probably have been too scared to take the room. Landlord's lease luckily legal! Lucky for Mr. Garadab, maybe. But not so lucky for poor Mr. Natsume. And now, do you believe this curse is affecting you? It is, it is. At first... I just felt as though I was being watched all the time. Yeah, dude, that's carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> and then you talked about having nightmares, didn't you? The, the dead are trying to take me with them. They come for me and try to s suffocate me. Yeah, dude, you are dead. <laughs> dude, this is carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Just when I'm struggling to breathe, I wake up. And the room is as cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice some love. You're as cold as ice. Shout outs to Foreigner. You, you mean the band, right? Sure. Why is your room so cold? And winters are too cold to bear without any heating on overnight. But for some reason, even though I light the stove before I climb into bed at night, the pilot light always goes out and the room fills with gas. Is it all the dripping water from upstairs? But, but that's terrible. It's exactly the same situation as what led to the previous occupant's death. And then. <laughs> no. And then there's what happened to Mr. Shamspear last night. He was mysteriously poisoned. Damn. It's weird. You know, when natural gas doesn't get burnt, it's almost like it's a bad thing to have around, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's probably just a coincidence. Yeah. No. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. They can take it out of their cold, dead hands when they slowly asphyxiate. Listen, I try to be as witty as possible with that one. Sometimes it lands, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, it landed all right. <sighs> There's clearly more to that incident than can be explained by a curse, though. Whatever can be the cause of all these strange happenings in Mr. Garadab's rooms? We got anything to show this man, Oni? Um, Present. I'll probably try showing him the picture. But that's all I can think of. The landlord, John? Yeah. Um, Mr. Natsume? It's nothing much, but... Oh, it's been too long since I've been offered a present with that delightfully humble etiquette of our homeland. What? You're too kind. I accept it gladly. Um, sorry, but I wasn't trying to give it to you, actually. Okay, well, I guess that there's nothing there. Alright. Peace out, girl. Yo, it's our mouse friend. 22nd February, St. Bartholomew's Hospital. 
recovery ward. What do you suppose is happening? It sounds like some sort of disturbance. None of my business. I'm out. Yeah, I hear angry voices. <clears throat> Be not angry, oh apple lady. Verily, thou art mistaken. All right, Chris, you want to take Miss Green? <laughs> Seest, I have vigor still. Behold, my sham spear dance. Yeah, Oni? Is that your sham spear dance, buddy? Yes, look at me while I throw it back. That man wearing bloomers, and there still ain't anything to throw back, dog. <laughs> it's like a frog standing up to put on a fucking pair of jeans. <laughs> that boy needs therapy. This is truly the worst air guitar I have ever seen. Isn't it? It's fucking someone calm down Flaticus Atticus over here. I kind of like the outfit, but if, I just wish it wasn't poofy. Ah, lo, tis the lawyer from the land whence riseth the sun. How now? Um, what the fuck are you doing, Mr. Shamspear? What's wrong? You don't like my dance. I do believe I've returned unto another world. He was looking, that's what he was doing, looking at my terrible work. Hmm. Eastern fellow, so dark clad, darkly clad. Not even a word? Yeah, you put the modifier on the following word. I don't think it's a yeah. word. It's a word, apparently. Like, uh, to dress, attire, to provide clothing. Oh. You're clad, I guess. Yeah, clad and then e clad would mean to be. It's the past participle Bird, Bird, of clothe. They're clearly better than English than I am. Uh, it's, it's, a very, it's one of those super antiquated terms. <laughs> Yeah, an obsolete form of clad, a preterite and past participle of clothe. Yeah, from, <laughs> it was originally listed in Webster's in 1828. Yo, is there any way we could just like drop this case and you could stop being a ninny muggins about it? It's more fun this way. Oh, well, thank you. But. Damn, son, you bent your rod. <laughs> That's not good, dog. You're going to have some serious valve tap now. Oh, damn. Better than torsion. <laughs> True. That doesn't mean things will go so wonderfully for you tomorrow, does it? I mean, worst case scenario, you just you're gonna need a new piston, but chances are you won't blow anything up real bad if you catch it early. Ah. Yeah, work that shaft. Straighten it back out. Who's a good boy? Anon, exun. <laughs> Oh, 
don't know if it's if it's the music or what, but I get such like baby Kefka vibes from him. It's the hair. <laughs> Mr. Shamspear might vac might technically be the victim in this case, but if he keeps up this shit, he's gonna be the victim again. But there's definitely a lot more to it than that. It's very hard to pin the man down. He covers himself in lubricants. It's terrifying. He doesn't even walk. He slithers across the floor like some sort of weird human-snake hybrid. I'm so sorry. Such an awful person. <laughs> ah, Miss Green! Is everything all right? Oh, yes, I mean, don't worry about me. They're about to discharge me, so I must get ready now. Oh, I see. Chargy! We're delighted that you'll soon be well enough to go home, Miss Green. Did you all know that it's more likely plausible that Bloodborne is just entirely adapted from uh, a Victorian set of poems by the name of In Hospital than almost any other influence? You're welcome. I have a three-hour documentary, if anyone's interested. So, are you feeling more like yourself today, Miss Green? I am, thank you. We can. I mean, people do recover from ordeals like this, don't they? Even people like me? Yeah! It really was an ordeal, huh? As far as I was concerned, I was just walking along in the snow one evening, minding my own business. And then, completely out of the blue, I was struck in the back by a knife and collapsed unconscious for days. Of course, when I finally woke up again yesterday, the whole business had been cleared up already. Yeah. What a terrible week it's been for you. Oh no, I'm sure I'm very lucky, really. I'll look on this one, please. Really? Yikes! Yeah, the most attention I've gotten in here. Sheesh, ain't that true. Anyway, I must be getting my things together now, so I'm ready to be discharged. Sure thing. Hey, coincidentally, are you familiar with the term Munchausen's by proxy? No? Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry to take up your time when you're obviously busy. All right. Hmm, vermin in a hospital? That doesn't seem the best. But it looks like a very healthy specimen, doesn't it? It's, um, quite rotund. I'm not sure we can say that's down to the excellence of this facility, if that's what you were thinking. <laughs> oh man, she hit her painting. Can't pick it up. There are all sorts of medicines in this cabinet. Look! I'm not sure if it's safe leaving them in reach of everyone like this. Yes, you're right. 
I can imagine if you were peckish, you might try a whole bottle or two. Um, no? <laughs> no? <laughs> well, at least there seems to be a little lock to secure the cabinet doors. I can't imagine that would stop you if you're hungry. I fear you'd break the lock. Hunger doesn't turn me into a criminal, you know, Miss Sasato. Damn, she's just out here calling us a fiend? Can we show her the picture? Because I think I think we have to show somebody the picture. Yeah, I think I can only interact with her. No, like yeah, well. Out, well, we got other places we can go. Uh, John's probably back home, right? I think we could click on one of the medical charts. Could we do that? Uh, we used to examine everything in this room already. Uh, uh, the medical charts are both unexamined. All right. Ah, this looks like the treatment notes for whoever's occupying this bed. Let's see. Do not permit to run around the hospital. <clears throat> the patient doesn't seem to be here. She is probably running around the hospital. They're going the distance. They're going for speed. What's worrying is why they haven't discharged the patient yet. The other one. I just saw. I just noticed when you hovered over them. Yeah, Oni, you thinking it? I mean, I don't. Know. I mean, if you want to click on them, but I don't think they're like important. Probably not, but... Yeah, fuck it. Alright, let's go see if Mr. Garadeb's home. Twenty-second February. Mr. and Mrs. Garadeb's room. Ah, oh, you're here now, Mr. Garadeb. Young Chris. Yeah. Right, Bolly business it is for me, you know, getting out and about. Were you at the old Bailey by any chance? Naturally. Fate of my lodgings hanging in the balance and all that. Not a trial to miss. This time. Spoken like a true landlord. The fate of what's already been dubbed your haunted lodgings, yeah. Hey, with the crescent shape of his head, does that mean he's mooning us right now? In a <laughs> sense. Of course, the place has caused quite a stir around the capital on more than one occasion already. Unless the old haunted lodgings are some such nonsense. Ah... Uh. Well, at least he knows. Makes you wonder what the blaze is going on, don't you know? Yes, I'm sure. Th where have you come from, Mole? Yeah, I was going to say, where did you get here? In fact, thinking back to Natsume's other trial just two days ago, you were at the old family then as well, weren't you? Testifying with your wife, or whatever she is now, to you. Yeah. Now what happened? Seems like we should be coming up to a stopping point here. Stopped off at the prison on the way home, in fact. Beastly business. I see. Mm-hmm. you to my haunted abode today. All right. I think we'll call it a wrap here for now. Oh, before we find out his reaction to the picture. Yeah. You I'm the master of cliffhangers. Yeah, exactly. See, I kind of know what I'm doing sometimes. Yeah. The, uh, Garrett up's about to hit his uh, haunted house operator arc. 
Whew. Oh, hey, that was a one. That was a that was a interesting episode so far. I have no idea who that kid is, though. Probably the actual murderer. <laughs> oh, wait, what in the picture? I think yeah. That's the other other Kenyan who died. Right? Yeah, he's the murderer. What? <laughs> Trust me, you'll see. Yeah, okay, I buy that. It, listen, it's a. I buy that, but I also want to go out on a limb and say, he's Shamspear. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it was always Shamspear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll thank everyone for joining us tonight, and we'll get the cast to extraduce themselves. I'm not going to do Shy first because she broke the internet last week. Gremlin. <laughs> Instead, we'll make a 90 degree right turn and then a left turn because we might be the most handsome model and merman on the face of the planet. The original Florida man himself coming to you live from a bathtub full of crystal meth. It's Little Sharky. Wait, I'm the most attractive <laughs> one out of all of us? Ha <laughs> ha! My yeah, Onichan and Christ, get your glasses checked. I'm a hat. Hi. Okay. That just means, hey, that just means you getting a lot of head. I want to let you know I furiously dabbed and arm waved after that one. I, that was a beautiful layup. I'm sorry, I was speechless for a moment. Anyway, hi, I'm Sharky. My uh, Twitch account is now 10 years old, and uh, my, my actual body is about a thousand times that. So. Happy to stream speedruns, random things, and uh, really not have a clue what I'm doing with my life. So, yeah, no matter what you're doing, just always remember to tell the people you love how you feel. Because uh, hopefully they're there by the time the next stream comes around, but you just never know. So, be safe. Don't do anyone I wouldn't do. Next up. I can't type. A fellow TrueNAS scale user, which means we both like suffering, it's Chris. Like or thrive off of? <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to admit to anything you wouldn't either. <laughs> suffering is a way of life, Q. It's yeah, oh, I know. Enjoyment. It's a way of life. I was born into the suffering. Hiked up uh, uphill in the snow both ways to school. Yep. For some life is suffering. For others, suffering is just getting chunked across the stream room by your by the host of the stream, I suppose. Or, in Tony's case, chucking the host of the stream. And I would have yeah. gotten there too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Get off my lawn, <laughs> old man. Step something something pumpkin chunkin uh i don't think you're too too lost chris but we are doing the um the extraductions uh like the exit interview and uh oh, it's actually shit. your turn is that what i'm supposed to be doing sorry i was working on specifications for this project yeah i got you don't worry glad you hit the button anyway it's your turn Am I supposed to do something with that? Yes, yes. You're supposed to tell people about your stream so I can go to bed. <laughs> so wait, you're saying that by not doing that, this is a hostage situation. It's not a hostage situation. I'll just end fucking stream. I know better. My wife is in closer grippy distance than you are. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. Hi. Hi, I'm Chris Rees, and I lead the raid group Blitz, and I'm a variety RPG streamer. I'm going to be working on Dragon Age coming up, and also I'm going to tell you why Might and Magic is the best game that you've played from the perspective of a 45-year-old male. Also, I love Nirvana. Kurt Cobain's my favorite musician. There, how'd I do? Uh, you were like 80% of the way there. Pretty good. Everybody gets one. That's crazy. Speaking of getting one, hey, Oni, what you doing besides me misspelling your name? Uh, <laughs> you were last playing 
API error. Oh, I love API error. I love API error. Oh, did Elon Musk take away your API calls? Ooh. Cost the streamers three dollars per cast or command. But yeah, you know, if you like RPGs and fighting games and lots of other shit. Oh, and old video games. You know what? I fucking love old video games. You know what? I I could talk for hours and hours about my fun ass time playing Sin and Punishment. I fucking love that game. Great I game. might play that game again. I love that game. Great game. I'm glad you got through Kodelka too. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a fun one too. Man, I fucking love that game. Oh, Enjoy River God. City Girls too. <laughs> oh yeah, River City Girls too. Man, that game is, damn man, that game is so fucking fun. I swear, if you guys, if anybody watching, listening, whatever, yo, try that game. <laughs> <laughs> The ferret will now be watching you all. She is not pleased. Anyway, speaking of pleasing, it's Lon. I am quite pleasing. Thank you very much. Um, I am Lonnie Kea. I do long plays of RPGs, and I am currently working on, um... Star Ocean tomorrow. Then on Thursday, my partner Eris and I finish up Haven. And I think I will be streaming uh, Eve with Mokura on Saturday. Ooh. Interessante. And because they broke everything last week, Shy, if you do your thing now and it ends, well, at least we did it right. I am shy. I am gremlin. I break things. And I also co-host with Lonnie. And we are definitely looking forward to having everybody come by tomorrow and Thursday and Saturday. Especially Saturday. Uh, every, we would love to have everybody here to uh, watch Mokura on stream. I have to fix my volume now. But yes, go check out these wonderful creators. It's been a wonderful, wonderful night. I have a very cranky ferret that needs attention, apparently. She's unfortunately smart enough to know when, like, I'm supposed to be ending streams. So if I go any later, she starts rattling the cage and demanding food. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will do my outro and then we'll all say goodbye together. So I'm Kios. It's been wonderful having you all. Thanks for the hosts. Thanks for the raids. Hopefully you enjoyed a little voice acting session. It's uh, been a really cool way to get through a lot of these uh, games that I've wanted to play, but they're just not very interactive, and I don't feel like reading every single line. But we'll thank our friends at Capcom uh, for giving us a, a, basically this entire collection, which is really fun. If you like what we do here, you want to hang out, um, trade recipes, talk music, check out the Discord. It's a really cool place. Uh, I promise, it's super cool. I ping once a week and it's only on Mondays unless it's like something super special. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube, great way to catch up on all of our playthroughs. I put out way too much fucking content, like full stop uh, to like catch in a live environment. So if you wanna catch up with either like one of my casual playthroughs, speedrun PBs, tutorials, moto vlogs, cooking streams, check out the YouTube, toss a subscription on that. If you haven't checked out our friends over at SkyTech, they are super cool. So if you're in the PC market, check them out. They have treated me like I am made of gold and their customer service is the best, bar none. Tea drinkers, check out our friends over at Adagio. I put together a bunch of tea blends of stuff that I drink on the daily uh, and the proceeds of those all benefit the Trevor Project. So think of it as uh, shopping with your wallet. Last but not least, you want to support the Catboy, check out the Throne Wishlist, all sorts of cool stuff on there to improve the quality, content, consistency, and comfort of streams, uh, as well as cosplay, crafting, and creation. Uh, the suggestion box is always open if you have anything funny, silly, or potentially serious. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm going to call it a night. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging with you all, and we will check you tomorrow, more 15, more 15 setup. I'm gonna do Crisis Core. 
And then we're going to do Forspoken. But that's it for me. All right, everybody, say good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Say good night. Give people hugs and be kind to each other. Grab a kazoo. Let's have a tune. Be kind to each other, or Lania will come beat you up. I mean, yeah, you can say that now. I'm off the screen. All right, let's find someone to raid. Yeah, my brain is so shot. I just type, like, normally I, like, control T, and then I have the Twitch following tab. I just hit control T, raid, question mark. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh, shit Christ. You're going to be like, I tried to raid Poppy, but there's seven P's in the name for some reason. I love that. I don't think he's streaming. Is he streaming tonight? Nah. I didn't look. I know. Uh, we could go bug Santa, I think. Santa's streaming. Uh, Mia's still working on Ghostwire Tokyo. Curtis is working on The Legend of Dragoon. Oh, man. Legend of Dragoon. That's a good one. What? Legend of Dragoon? Yo, if you ever need to borrow a copy, you got to spare one. Just got to bring it. Just got to give it back when it's done. 